Hi, my name's Chuck with In The Ditch. I'm real excited to share with you our latest generation of side pullers. You know, over 15 years ago, we invented the first side puller and received the United States patent on it. There's been over a thousand of these units sold throughout the world. And in that time, we've gained a lot of information from our customers and end users. We've also won numerous industry awards for the side puller's capability. In fact, we believe that our side puller will outpull and outperform any side puller on the market. Today though, the main focus is to share with you the changes we've done for 2016. We make five different models of side pullers, but today we're gonna to talk about the SP9000 series of side pullers. And this is offered in two versions. The one on my left has integrated controls. And what that means is we've pre-installed the hydraulic valve body, we've pre-plumbed it to the side puller, it has a wireless remote control all ready to go, I'm kind of making it sound a little simpler than it is, but all you need to do is provide hydraulic pressure in, hydraulic pressure out, and hook a 12 volt power source up and you're ready to go. The SP9000 on my right here does not have integrated controls. And what that means is, when you install this side puller, you're going to need to provide your own hydraulic valving. Many people out there will pre-order their wrecker or carrier with SP controls pre-installed, if you're building an emergency rescue vehicle, you could order it with extra hydraulic controls. And you would just take hydraulic hoses from your control system and hook it to the side puller. So this one is a little more of a custom application, but the side puller with integrated controls can be retrofitted to most carriers. It's very easy to install this on an emergency vehicle. Um, it's really what we would consider a plug and play unit. Now I'm gonna take you around and talk to you about some of the new features for 2016. Well, I'd like to start off with talking about the winch and some of the changes that we've done there for 2016. One of the first things we did is we redesigned the tensioner plate and increased the spring pressure on the tensioner plate so that the wire rope will spool a little bit nicer as the wire's being wound onto the winch. Another thing we did is we revamped all of the decals for 2016 to make it a little more clear on how everything gets used and how the functions work on the side puller. As you can see here from this shot, it's very easy when you're standing at the side of the truck to operate the free spool handle and to identify whether or not it's engaged or disengaged. Now we're going to move up and talk about the center recovery boom head. And for me, being the inventor of this side puller, this was really the heart and soul of the side puller. You know, when we did all of our testing, we figured out very early on that you can generate the most amount of pulling power by pulling directly off the center boom head. And I think if there's one thing I want to really send home with you about after watching this video is how easy it is and successful you can be by using this as your main recovery point. As we go through and we're working the center boom head through all its ranges of motion, you can see there's just about no place that the casualty could hide that you couldn't attach to it and pull from. Here Tyler's going to go ahead and walk in an arc and show you the range of motion that you have that you can recover directly from the center boom head. And again, by pulling from the center boom head, you're reducing the tipping moment of the side puller and you're putting a lot less load on the truck and it's just a fantastic technique that I hope you learn and perfect and just grab the center boom head, unclip the wire rope from the spring tube, pull it out and attach it to the casualty and just start pulling. Here I'm gonna show you a little more of the range of recovery that you have pulling directly off the center boom head. Don't hesitate to slide the bed back to gain a little more access so you can pull a little more downhill. Another use for pulling from the center of the boom head would be as we tilt the bed back, if you had a casualty that was on the car carrier deck, you could reach out with this side puller and grab it and slide the car a little bit. You can also use it as an auxiliary winch in the event that your main winch failed. There's so many recovery techniques that you can use from the center boom head. And I want to invite you to watch our recovery videos as there's just too much to go through on this one segment. Another significant change we made for 2016 is that we redesigned the outer boom head and the receiver tube that it nests in. You know, we went out and talked to towers and we gathered feedback and 
One of the things that we came up collectively is that it would be a lot better if we would raise the height of the boom head and also change the angle that the boom head sets. By changing the angle of it, we've improved the fleet angle and that's the angle at which the wire rope enters the sheave. And by just raising it a couple inches and changing the angle, the wire rope feeds way better than it ever did. And we really think it's just enhanced this unit significantly. Here I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install the outer recovery boom head. As you can see, you just put it in, rotate it 180 degrees and lock it in. Then you reeve the wire rope through the top, remove the outer cover, and it's retained in place with these snap buttons and you just put the cover back on and now you've reeved your wire rope through the boom head. Another thing that we did is we created the recovery zone decal. And as you can see here in the video, when you're inside the recovery zone, everything's within its right operating range. Then we have a yellow and a caution. The reason we did that is a lot of operators were pulling straight out the side with the boom head and that was not designed to do that. If you're gonna pull straight out the side, we want you to pull through the center boom head or using a snatch block as we're gonna show you. But as you can see, if you stay inside the recovery zone, there's an incredible range of recovery abilities when you use this outer boom head. Now we're gonna talk about anchor points on the side puller. You know, for years we've designed our side pullers to accept the standard screw pin bow shackle as shown here. But recently, Yoke has come out with a twist lock shackle. And he uses that little detent there to lock the shackle pin in. So for 2016, we redesigned the anchor points. We give them a teardrop shape to accept this new style of shackle. You know, all those years ago when we initially designed the side puller, one thought was always consistent and that was to make it easy for the operator to have a bunch of choices. And by giving a bunch of anchor points, we really feel we've increased the operator's chance of success. As you can see here, you can move the snatch block into a bunch of different locations and you have a wide range of recovery angles with it. And what it allows you to do is constantly keep yourself in an advantage point. So you're always pulling at the right angle or you know the right height with it. When we redesigned the stabilizer foot for 2016, one of the first things we did was to try to make it easier to attach a snatch block to the foot. As you can see here, we accomplished that task. It's very easy to snap the snatch block right into the foot. This is a real great shot, I think, because it shows when you're running the wire rope over the side and down through the snatch block, by raising and lowering the leg, you can really control the height that the wire rope is off the ground. You know, if you have a really low car and you want to pull way down low on the ground, you can go down through the snatch block and run the wire out very low as I'm showing you here. Also want to point out the range of recovery that you have here by going through the leg. You can pull real low going forward, real low going rearward or straight out the side. And there's so much more to these side pullers than initially meets the eye. I hope you get a chance to go watch some of our recovery videos so you can see the full capability of these. You know, we've been selling side pullers now for over 15 years and we just hear success story after success story and it seems like inevitably the people that own a side puller say they'll never own a truck without one. As you can see, there's just unlimited recovery abilities. Especially here, having the ability to go over the outer boom head and down through the snatch block, you can pull up. If you get a car up on its side, you just pull up beside it reach over and you can really generate a lot of power by pulling down on it almost like you're arm wrestling it. Here Tyler's going to go ahead and do another walk and it's kind of hard to see in the video but we're still going over the outer boom head and down through the snatch block and he's showing you the range of recovery that you've got and this is anywhere from one foot off the ground if you're clear down on the foot or if you want to move up to any one of the other anchor points you could be pulling straight out as high as five foot off the ground. It's just an unbelievable amount of choices. Now we're gonna continue on and talk about the stabilizer feet. And there's so many things that we're proud of that were new innovations on this side puller that I can hardly wait to tell you. One of the first things we did is we made the pavement pad self-leveling so that if the asphalt or the dirt is a little bit unlevel, as you lower the foot down, the pad self-levels itself here. And that way you're always keeping a constant amount of footprint on the ground. 
Here's a great shot of it lowering down on a little bit of uh, recycled asphalt that's at an angle, and here you get a chance to see the foot level itself out. We just think this is a fantastic feature, and we're so proud to bring it to the industry. To convert the stabilizer foot from the self-leveling asphalt pad to the ground penetrating grouser is as easy as removing the pin as I did right here and folding down the foot. Now when I say ground penetrating grouser, that's exactly what I mean. This is all steel, all rugged. There's nothing wimpy about this. You know, being a tower myself, I know what it's like to be out there and try to winch on something and have the truck slide. So we designed this thing to penetrate the ground penetrate asphalt, pierce through ice, and just to really go down and bite in and get a hold of something. The other thing we did was to design the foot so that when the grouser folds down, it opens up and creates a cavity up underneath the foot. And as you push the foot down into the dirt and it starts penetrating through the ground, the soil is packing up underneath the foot and it really gives you a really nice stable platform to work from. Another great feature of the stabilizer foot is that we've incorporated the step, as you can see here. Not only did we incorporate the step, but we've also designed new grab handles for 2016. And by giving you this grab handle up at the top of the side puller, you can reach in there with a glove on, step right onto the stabilizer foot, reach up, adjust your alley lights, reeve the wire rope, or do whatever you want. We designed over 10 different grab handles when we were doing these first prototypes to make sure that the feel and the fit and the form of the handle was everything that you guys deserve when you're out there on the side of the road. You know, we want it to be easy so you can just reach up with a hand, grab it, it doesn't hurt your hand, and pull yourself up. Another new feature for 2016 is our all new aluminum spring tubes. And what's really neat about these is not only do they look good, but they help keep the wire rope from vibrating and chipping on your paint. They're real easy to replace the spring. If you ever over tension them, you just remove a bolt and replace the spring. And we're really proud of this feature. Another new standard feature for 2016 is the pylon mounts. And we pre-install these mounts on all the SP9000 series of side pullers. In addition to these mounts, we offer five new pylons. Here you can see our standard 50 inch pylon it slides right over them mounting tabs and it's adjustable. You can move it up and down so that your light bar is always running at the optimum height. We're also very proud to introduce our new swept wing pylon. And this pylon was really designed to help get the lights out to the side of the truck. You know, a lot of people running car carriers, when you load a full-size pickup or a van on your carrier deck, you have no lighting out onto the side. So we made this pylon wider than the side puller. The choices are unlimited when it comes to lighting. You can put a light bar in the center. You can add mini light strobes out here on the swept wing portion. It really works good to get the alley lights out to the side of the pylon. We also included the stainless steel accent panel underneath it on all of the swept wing pylons. We just think this is a beautiful light bar. And not only that, we really think it's probably one of the safest pylons out there because it helps you to get the lights to the outside of the truck. If you order your side puller with integrated controls, this is the valve body that's gonna come pre-installed. New for 2016, we started including what's called manual overrides. And that is, in the event that your wireless remote should ever stop working, you can still operate the side puller manually. The procedure for that is quite simple. Just depress the red button, which is on your diverter valve, and hold it. And then you can press any one of the other functions manually to operate them. Every side puller that has integrated controls now comes standard with this wireless remote control. As you can see here, it operates the winch in and out, the legs up and down, and it's just a great tool for when you're down over an embankment or off the side of the road by yourself, you can now operate all of the side puller controls via wireless remote control. This uh, transmitter here is, can be operated up to a thousand feet away from the truck. It's a very high quality product and we're really proud to put our name on it. Another improvement for 2016 is our adjustable mounting plates. For those of you that want to install your own side puller, this is an absolute breakthrough in our industry. What we've done is we made the side puller mounts adjustable so you can go from a narrow frame to a wide frame. You don't have to do any shimming or anything. 
You just mount these mounts on your truck frame and then mount the side puller to it. It's that easy. And this is something that we're extremely proud of is making this thing easy to install, easy to operate, just easier all around for you to go out and do your job and make a living so you can support your family. By this point of the video, you can see how hard we've been working to make the side puller the best we can for 2016. But we didn't want to end with just a great functioning side puller. We also wanted it to look good too. So we designed these stainless steel dress up kits for all of our side pullers and they're made out of polished stainless steel. They have 3M adhesive on the back so they're very easy to install. You just peel the tape and stick it on your side puller and we really think it's going to really add a lot of looks to your side puller. Thanks for watching this episode of Inside in the Ditch. The one thing that I can assure you is that if you equipped your car carrier or wrecker or emergency vehicle with an in-the-ditch side puller, you're going to have the confidence when you're responding to uh, an accident scene or an emergency situation to know that you got the right piece of equipment on your truck to get the job done. And that you can count on. The other thing I want to do is just thank you for spending a little bit of time with me and time within the ditch. Time is something that we can never get back. And I know what it's like to be out there risking your life and laying it on the line out there on the side of the freeways and the highways. And the fact that you took a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me and in the ditch means the world to me. And I'll see you in the ditch.